Hi guys, I'm back. I have a couple of little projects I want to share with you tonight. And I was on my YouTube, watching YouTube videos the other night, a couple nights ago. Um, and you know how you have the the recommendations, the recommended videos? Every once in a while I scroll through there and see if something looks interesting. And I came across a video, and it was like from 2009, so it was an older video. And it was by, uh, it was a Michaels video, you know, Michaels store. So I thought, oh, that looks kind of interesting. I think I'll see what that's about. And I clicked on it, you guys. And there was this lady making these really cute wreaths. And I thought, that looks like fun. So I decided to try making one for myself. And don't mind the mess on my desk, you guys. It's messy. I've been doing stuff. Um... Trying to get this in here. So I made this cute little Christmas wreath. You can see there. And it was really simple, you guys. I mean, really simple. This is made with coffee filters. Just plain old Mr. Coffee type coffee filters. And you just fold them in force and glue them down in rows. And you guys have probably all seen this. I'm probably the only one who hasn't seen it, but I don't care. I'm going to zoom in on the ruffles so you can see them. They're really, really cute. Isn't that cute? So you just fold them into quarters and you start gluing them down. Hang on here. And for your base, all you do is cut a big circle. And I covered the back of mine with craft paper when I was done just to kind of make it a little neater. You can see there's the filters. So you just start on the outside and you just keep gluing them in a circle until you end up with your wreath. And then in the middle I just put in some uh, Christmas bulbs and a poinsettia with some, it's one of those recollections blingy buttons. They're kind of like the Webster's Pages, but the Michael, or the, yeah, the Michael's version. And then I've got just a ribbon at the top to, so that it'll hang. But I thought it was cute. I wanted to share that with you guys. I sprayed it with Glimmer Mist. Um, in two shades. One was an aqua and one was kind of a royal blue and it wasn't really shiny enough for me so I went back over it with my Perfect Pearls mist and Perfect Pearls and that's where most of the shine came from honestly was the Perfect Pearls. You know dried it with my heat gun super easy super quick and it was fun so I thought I'd share that. And the second project I have is also an Art Deco project and this is a gift for one of the ladies that I work with. We have Secret Santa, so I decided to make her gift. I'm going to put this down. And what it is, you guys, this is a sleigh, and I'll show you what it started out as. Um, I found these a few days ago at a local junk store. Honestly, is all it is. See? This is what I started with, just a plain... Let me tip this up a little. Just a plain wooden sleigh, like that. Nothing fancy. And what I did was I painted it red and I used the Martha Stewart red acrylic paint. And I got to tell you guys, I really like the Martha Stewart paint. As much as I hate to admit it, I really, really do. Let me zoom in here. I want you to get a look at this finish. There you go. Can you see the finish on that? What I did was I painted it with the Martha Stewart red craft paint, just acrylic paint. I took some sanding paper and sanded it down and got the edges worn a little bit. There you go. And then I did a two-part crackle over the top because I wanted a nice crackle finish. And after it dried and it had cracked really nicely, I'll show you down here too. Hang on. There you go. After it dried and it had crackled really well for me, I rubbed over the top of it with coffee colored archival ink and it's import important to keep in mind when you're doing your home in your home projects your home decor projects that at some point this might get wiped off with a damp rag and if you use distress ink it's going to wipe right off so that's why I use the archival because of course it won't wipe off that's how I finish the sleigh itself 
And then down here at the bottom I have some bells on a ribbon and this is just seam binding. And the bells were just plain bells that I picked up um, uptown at Ben Franklin's I think. And they're the aged brass bells and I just went over the, hang on here, sorry about that. I just touched the edges with a gold metallic pen just to give a little shine back to them and that's that. There's a poinsettia, hang on. There you go. Got some greenery. There's a little stick pin right here. A poinsettia with a pine cone center. And these are just some, um, there were some flowers I got at a local discount store. And the flowers were pretty, but they weren't very full. So I took about four of them apart and stacked them up. There's 12 layers here to make it nice and full. There's some pine cones over here with some green glitter on them. And then this, of course, is from the um, Simple Stories Father Christmas line. And I just edged it with some gathered twigs. Added some sprigs up here. And that is the whole thing. I'll show it to you. There you go. Pretty simple, but fun. I think it's a cute little project, and I think she'll enjoy it, which is the main thing. Don't look at my mess. I got mini books going in the background that you can't see yet. So there's that. Really simple to do. I had fun doing it. This really didn't take long, you guys. I did the whole thing in a, probably three hours. And that's with letting the paint dry. <laughs> so it didn't take long. It hangs in the back. I've got a piece of seam binding back here, and it'll hang from that. So that will be a little gift for, like I said, one of the gals that I work with. And I hope she likes it. I think she will. That's it, guys. That's about all I've gotten done recently. Um, tag swappers, please check my blog for all of the tag instructions. Um, any, th any information that you may be looking for. So all my swappers, please check my blog. I will put the blog link down below in the description box. And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.